Thousands united in Bemidji this past weekend to celebrate Native American culture and also their traditions. Our Brenda Mack has more for us. Too often we have cultures that separate us, but today culture is bringing us together. Together, Native and non-Native Americans stand side by side to celebrate the Native culture for the second year in a row. This isn't just about uh, Native Americans, it's about everybody. The annual Bay Majigamac Powell returns to the Sanford Center after an outpouring support from the community and state officials. Native American people are very important in our community and with our culture here in Bemidji, and so it's, it makes me feel pride in um, our town for supporting this. Hundreds are clad in jungle dresses and eagle feathers. Each regalia is sacred, some known for healing purposes. And when they dance, they dance with honor and pride. I have arthritis in my legs, but when I'm out there, I don't feel pain, I don't feel nothing. It just feels like reborn, like you're reborn when you're out there. And as each drum beat goes, the dancers open the floor to the non-native. When I dance, I uh, pray for my for the ones that uh, I may make my mom happy if I dance a lot. I got to do a little bit of Native American dancing, but it wasn't like enough to teach me actual Native American dancing. Not only does the community want to bridge cultural gaps, but also break down all cultural barriers. Hence why this year, these programs are being handed out to provide a detailed understanding of all customs and traditions. It's an educational brochure so that people can learn about Native American traditions at a powwow and they don't have to be worried about can I take a picture or not and they don't have to worry about sticking their foot in their mouth or saying something that might be offensive and then they can feel welcome. It's not just about all the spiritual stuff, it's about once we get here we get to make new friends, we get to visit each other, socialize with each other. This powwow has become so significant that organizers name it a statewide event. To be respectful of one another. Everybody calls it culture or whatever, but it's their way of life, you know. That's what they choose to do. That's how they choose to be. Respect that. They're also working to host a third powwow next year in Bemidji. Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.